Cause seven peas from a witch cover knees with a click think that she noticed Space in the knees and I grease and then leave and I think that that they notice Live for the bees on the squeeze cause I'm pleased and I think that that she noticed Live for the seas that's about you and me and I think that that she noticed Don't go wear my jacket, shit it just that cop the fleas Fucking with that bitch, I told that bitch no feelings please Play it for you of the century. That's gotta be bittersweet. No one gave you a chance and you almost pulled off the upset of all time. What are your emotions right now, Duke? You know, I miss the shot. This is my family. And I, uh, I let them down. And that's all there is to it. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. I saw your indictment tonight. Those were grown men. Good players. Season, a couple of them played D1. Held your own. That's the real game, right? Outside the gym. You follow me out here? Let's just say that I'm in the city a lot and we just happen to be there at the same time. <laughs> you can play. Your footwork and floor spacing needs a bit of cleanup. Yeah, I told you I'm a football player. Yeah, you're a senior now. And I told you I am a football How many D1 player. football offers you got so far? Tough. Committed. Plays the game the right way. You're a great player. But great isn't special. <laughs> oh, come on, coach. That's a pitch. Trash, get in the Start a pitch. Still open. Start of my Duncan didn't play organized ball until they were 14. Steve Francis was 16. Giannis was playing soccer until someone wised up, probably gave him the same speech. And now he's an MVP. Okay, so what, coach? I mean, I'm not just some charity case you want to help out? What's in it for you? Right. Wins. I have a lot of good kids. I need special. I'm special. Your natural ability is, yes. Look, if I play basketball here, it starts all over. Those questions. It becomes about him again. It's never been just me, it's always been us. And stop running and take him on. When we first met, you told me how you loved New York, bled New York. You wanted to be part of a bigger world. This is how you get it. Ooh. Maybe football is your game. I mean, you play like you're trying to run your head through a brick wall. <laughs> nah, this game ain't for you. This game's all about nuance. Subtlety, son. Paul Frazier, Bill Russell, MJ. Yeah, hey, what about LeBron? He was a football player. You ever seen that man pass? That's the beautiful game right there. Yo, Duke, great to see you on the court again, baby. Yo, we saw you win state. Brick City for real, son. Thank you, appreciate y'all. See that, son, right there? That's what I'm about. 
What are you about? Right now, this is a rebirth. We are only as strong as our belief in each other. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Come on. All right, let's go now, Breeden. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. I said it. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Eagles. Eagles. Junior, just a second. No pressure here. All you gotta do is be better than me in my first game. Yeah. All right, so what happened? Just aim for more points than turnovers. All right, and you'll do fine. This is your moment. Nice job. Let's go, baby! Hello, everyone, and welcome to this broadcast of Garden State IAA Basketball. I'm Joe Lamy, joined by Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. We can't wait to get another season rolling, and we look to get a great matchup to kick things off. Well, a classic matchup with the Newark East Eagles playing host to the Burton Hornets. Both teams looking to improve on their final positions from last year. A win tonight would be a great step towards that goal. We hope to see you. Yo. Hey. <laughs> Who's got skills? No kid, tough game today. Don't worry about that. Hey, wait up. Wait. Whew. Man, how you doing, man? I'm, uh, I'm Archie. Mm. Archie Baldwin. So Dad and I were teammates. Ah. Uh, yeah. I think you sound familiar, but I don't know. I was a kid when he still playing ball, so. <laughs> Boy, he loved you. <laughs> Talked about you all the time. There was one story about a, a, a purple jumper. You had to wear this thing every day. If you did, you would just cry. Red. Nice to meet you, Archie. Yeah, I'll get right to the point. Upside, off the charts. High basketball IQ, strong motor, and you understand tempo. There's a package there. Easy sell. Sell? To who? You talking like scholarship? Yes, sir. Is that something you think or something you know you can do? Next one, you show me what you got, bring me some high numbers, win, and then we'll talk. But your first game, you learn from it. Wait, you said, uh, Archie, right? Yes, sir, Archie. Junior. Good to see you, Junior. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. We have another exciting edition of Garden State IAA Hoops for you. I'm Joe Lamy. To my side are Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. We'll be seeing the Renfield Foxes play host to the Newark East Eagles. And at this point in the season, we know that we can expect an intense matchup. The Eagles are a much improved team looking to come into Renfield and take one on the road. It won't be easy, but they have the fire presentation of Garden State IAA Athletics. Have a good evening, everyone. Hey, hey, easy now. It's okay, coach, it's felt fine when I was playing. Just, just tweaked it at the end there. Mm -hmm. It's good you checked out all the same, yeah? All Archie? Hey. Oh, take it easy, boy. Slow down. So how am I doing now? Can you show some things? Got some good tape to show the right people. D1 people? Yeah, it's a step. You show some upside, but you still gotta step it up. Two games is still just a small sample size, but it could get the recruiters in the gym. Then, you sealed your deal, assuming that's okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's just a sprain. I'd probably be limited in this game, but I can still play. Just like your old man. Played through it all, even in the championship. On a busted foot, and still dropped 40. You know the story. I know all the stories, Archer. 
it's cold out here, man. Let's get something to eat on me. Hola, Linda. Como, si, co, como are you? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, yeah. Ay, this yes. time, I'm working ay, with this pero, kid. Pero, oh, I'm working uh, with this one. I, that's Junior. Me da mi brazo. Me da mi brazo. <laughs> she said you better go over and give her a hug. She remembers when you were a baby. Oh, oh. Nice to meet you. Please, sit on the house. Uh, Obrigada. Yeah, man. Uh, photos on these walls. Man, y'all knew. I never knew that, man. Yeah, he sacrificed a lot for you and your mom. That's why I wonder if he would have been in that. America, I'm going to stop you right there, all right? This is not going to be a situation where you start becoming my mentor and giving me all type of life advice, all right? Look, I'm not a victim. I don't got no daddy issues. The man you knew is just not the man I knew. That's all. So what about the next game? Uh, coach just wants me to sit, try to get healthy. I agree. Isn't the game after the next one, the big invitational at the at the Barclays? A lot of elite players are going to be there from around the country. Yeah, Andrews Cobb. Your father used to coach him, right? Yeah, we was tight till his family moved to New Orleans when we were 12. You all still talk? Yeah, here and there on social. His name is number one on every board that matters. Yeah. He's the show, which makes it easy for us to get people there who can push the needle. But that needle ain't gonna budge if you're limited. All right, so what's up, Archie? I mean, clearly you got connections and everybody knows you. So why aren't you working some college job? Oh, I did. Big Ten, Big East. Did it for 20 years. <sighs> then competition got a little heavy. I started coloring outside the lines a little. You a band? No, 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 nothing that dramatic. Still get a job, but... When you got that scarlet letter on your chest. And I'm your way back in? That's right. I said I trust you, man. No, you shouldn't. But your timeline is short. And if you don't got five guys like me knocking at your door, I'm probably uh, your only chance. Look, I, I loved your father like a brother. If I was struggling, he was always there for me. When he passed, I didn't think that I would have a chance to repay him. Maybe this is my child. So please, just, just think about it, all right? Come back to me. Yo, Archie, hold up. You know what I mean? Yeah? Yeah. All right, I won't let you down. All right. Archie. Give me that ball, man. Wasting my time. Make your move when you got it. You got the angle. Take the step. Right. Commit. You got me, fine. Wasting go. my time. I got you. I got you. That's what you got to say? What do you expect me to say? I don't want you to say. Why don't you stop putting in the work? Put in the work, Junior. I worked so hard on my step back, the heels on my Jordans unraveled. I gave my heart, my last breath to my team. Everyone I played for in Australia. Yeah, I heard the story before Pop is getting but old. But you're not listening. You got it all figured out now? Why? Because you got a little bit of talent? Because you put in a little bit of work? You're going to get old, football player. You'll see. You can cut your whole heart out for this game. What's it gonna get you? For what? Look at me. Where am I right now? You better be prepared to give everything to this game and it still not be enough. Get your head in the game, check ball. Face up. Pick it in. Trainer says if you play in the next game and the need doesn't get worse, be probably 60, 70 percent for the invitational next week. But if you sit out, you'll be 100 percent. And if I can play, I'm gonna play. And I want to win games too, but I'm taking the decision out of your hands. Wait, coach, you can't. Sitting. I protect my players no matter what, even from themselves. It's too important for your health and your future. 
End of story. Hello and welcome to another presentation of Garden State IAA Hoops. I'm Joe Lamy, joined by Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. Tonight, the Newark East Eagles are going up against the North High Dragons. Danny, your thoughts on this one? Well, the big story tonight, Junior is not in the lineup. We don't know what his status is for the entire game, but he was spotted in street clothes. Overall, a huge blow to the Eagles. There's the... Substitution on the court. And the Eagles look to make something happen. And that pass is airmailed and thrown out of bounds. Oh, that can't feel good. The Eagles look really sloppy here early. This could be a long night for them. And he controls it up top. Oh. Backdoor cut. Easy look. And he missed it. How'd that not go in? Devastating miss right there. The Eagles can't get anything going. And the ball's knocked loose. Here the Dragons go the other way. A two-on-one, and they'll finish with the easy bucket. Newark just looks lost, Joe, without Junior in the lineup. And we finished one half of play. Dragons are out in front. They're up by 11. And we send it to halftime now. Back with the third quarter right after this. All right, fellas. Here's the deal. We're getting blown out right now. Getting out played, out hustled, out worked. All right? Second half, I don't care what happens. I want you to know it's play hard. Every possession. Right? Ball, maybe rebound, play D every possession. Get some stops. Right. You know, we can work ourselves back into this. Yeah, you know, we'll play at a time, all right? Let's go. Get better. Let's do this. That was hard to watch out there. I said I'm going in. Hey, y'all, huddle up. Y'all playing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This ain't over yet. This ain't over yet. This ain't over yet. This ain't over yet. Settle down. Settle down. We talked about this. You need to keep that knee in check. Nah, I'm good to go, coach. It's my choice. Okay. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Win on three. Bring it in. One, two, three. Win. Let's go, fellas. Let's go! Archie Downs, come on, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Bring it in, bring it in. I don't have any speeches for you. Just possessions. One at a time. Let's turn this thing around right now. Go time on three. One, two, three, go time. All right, man. Hey, that was hero stuff. Even in the loss, you're a fighter. Yeah, thanks, Arch. Now remember, rice it. Rest, ice, compress, and elevate that knee. Yeah, no doubt all week. Hey, 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 hey. We focus on the invitation. It's all that matters now. Understood? Thanks, Arch. Junior, rice it. Yeah. Recruiters everywhere. Oh, my man, Jimmy, he even got big Liz up there. Evan, Chuck, a couple of heavy hitters in the NBA even getting an early look. Man, this is all happening, Junior. How do you feel? I'm good. Focus. You look good, too. <laughs> man, you look stressed, Arch. Well, that's okay, because I'm not playing. Now, look, a win would be ideal, but skills matter. You know, uh, positive possessions, tempo, your demeanor in the warm-ups, your focus on, on, on the huddles. Every player is an investment. They 
gonna be trying to get all kinds of intel to make sure you're a good fit. <laughs> Write that down. Bigger than Broadway. The Hendricks Cobb experience is about to light this city up. Hendricks, Hendricks, have you never dealt on any college selections? Or are you planning on jumping overseas? Hendricks, Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I heard we was playing. But I had to come see it with my own eyes. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Good to see you back playing. Mm. This is where you belong, on the court. That's what's up, man. How's New Orleans, though? Oh, it's good. <laughs> I'm here shoot around. All right. See you on the floor? Yep. I know that's your friend and all, but you need to stay focused. You light him up, and the world will open up for you. All right, all right. You need to reel it in now. I'm serious. Nah, I'm serious too, man. It's just, I ain't in your neck is bulging right now, man, and I'm worried about you. Ain't no vein in my neck bulging. How, how, how big is it? <laughs> Look, man, I'm just saying, you need to worry about your salt intake. I, that's all. See, now you're pushing it. I done played basketball before. I know what this game's about. I know how to win. As soon as that tip goes up, ain't no friends no more. Don't worry, Arch. I got it. No. This room's for players and coaches only. Out. Ah, it's okay. Coach, he's with I me. I know exactly who he is. Out! Hey, come on now, don't hold back. Tell me how you really this feel. This is funny to you? No, it's not. But it's your show, right, Henry? Yeah. What's he going to owe you after all this? Nothing. Mm. Nothing at all, Coach. Have a great game, Junior. Thanks, Arch. It's all up to you now. We'll get him. So as I was telling you, yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Barclays Center. We're here for the final game in the Battle of Brooklyn. I'm Joe Lamy. Alongside me are Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. Great matchup in this one between Louisiana Northeast and Newark East. Man, what can I say? <laughs> How about admitting that I'm better than you? No, that would be a good start. <laughs> I'm not going that far. <laughs> hey, you got me this time. Hey, listen, man. You showed something to these scouts tonight. I know it. There will be others. Yeah, celebrate with your teammates, man. You deserve it. Oh, well, celebrate? We a travel team, baby. We don't celebrate. It's just on to Cleveland. <laughs> Man, this is it. College. <laughs> the atmosphere, the tradition, the coaching. It's nothing like it, Junior. This is a good time to get to know who you are, too. Get an education, you know? I mean, there's no money right now, but the path gets easier for you to get a bigger brand once you get into the league because of all the TV exposure. Yeah, like Zion. Exactly, like Zion. <laughs> it's not going to be easy. A few bad games gets magnified. Bad press snowballs fast in college. Yeah, but positive press snowballs too. Exactly. So we want to keep it positive. I know you made a few visits, talked to a few coaches, but the decision is yours. Where do you see yourself next year, Jim? <laughs> you made the right choice, Junior. Let's get you on a call with Coach. I know he's going to be thrilled. Cool. I'm going to be keeping an eye on you, you hear me? So you think you're ready to declare for the draft? Just hit me up. Uh, thanks, Archie. Moving into a bigger world now, Junior. You think you're ready? Oh, no doubt, man. Let's go get it. I'm gonna let it shine, this love light of mine. I'm gonna 
like living and grinding, living and grinding, hustling it. Hey. Junior, Red, you guys ready? Excited? Hunter, coach, don't know any other way. Yes, sir, can't wait. Good, like we spoke about in practice, conference is tough this year. We got high expectations in the media, but if we win more than we lose, we should be situated pretty well come tournament time. But tonight, it's midnight mania, all right? All right. It's a celebration. Everybody on this team has sacrificed a lot to get here, so you put on a show for those fans, all right? Enjoy it. Hey, Junior, I just wanna, just wanna say this to you. Um, I'm a huge fan of your father. Duke's leadership embodied everything college basketball is about. Uh, thanks, Coach. Have fun out there. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Bring that back. Okay, this is what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say stay humble, and we go bump. You gonna say stay hungry, and you're not feeling it. Nah, man, I can't see myself coming into that. Okay, okay. <laughs> so open brainstorm. It's the first pass. Nervous, Red? I'm terrified. It's gonna be all right, man. I'm receiving your energy. You are a weird dude, man. I hear that a lot. Uh, stay humble, stay hungry. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's bring it in. Little up, y'all, come on, come on. Talk to him, Red. Hey, y'all, I'm gonna keep it short. Today sets the tone. So let's go out there and get these fans a season that they can look forward to, okay? Break it down, Junior, come on. All right, y'all, family on three. One, two, three, family. Feels like a little much. You win Can I every sing? time. It's all in <laughs> well, then maybe winning should feel like less of an every event. Every time just... feels like the first time. Boom! Yo, y'all up for some doubles? Hey, yo, Lula, no, I'm not good at this game. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> I'm always ready to take the basketball team down a peg. <laughs> Why you say that? Okay. Oh, because you know. I don't. Do you? Yeah, they think we walk around like we own the place. Because everyone treats you like you do. Boom! Oh, Yo, I see. I told you I was bad at this game. Now I'm starting to live up to it. All right. I don't act like that. Because you're new. You'll change. Wait, oh, you act yeah. like that, right? I'm not sure, but apparently it's fate. But who am I to argue with fate? Oh, oh come God, on, man. I love doing that. Yes. <laughs> All right, look. Uh-uh. Serious. <laughs> Big game coming up, boys. First game, right? You nervous? Yeah. <laughs> College is a new game. It's a big step, but my dad taught me to respect it. Oh, Ellie, hey, we gotta get to practice. Oh, that's because I was winning. You wanted to walk out like yeah, that? Sure. What's your name? Junior. Hey, uh, what if, um, what if we win this next game and me and you do something together? And if you lose? Uh, then we don't. Text me after your game. So when's the wedding? You were just scared to say so. <laughs> Ellie. Thanks for joining us as we get set for 2K Sports' presentation of college basketball. Our game tonight featuring the UCLA Bruins as they go up against the Florida Gators. Joined at the table by Clark Kellogg and Green. Good win, Junior. Now I'm focused on is getting us to the tournament. Hey, that's why we brought you here. Play the game the right way. The guys in this locker room, they really respect that. 
This team needs a leader right now. All right? Hey, listen to me. This team will go as far as you take us. I'm gonna need you to own that, all right? Yes, sir. Good job. Thanks, coach. <clears throat> what coach have to say? Ah, nothing really. He likes what red. Keep those numbers up in your draft position, go be sitting pretty too, right? <sighs> I'm saying you want to play on a higher level, right? I don't care if it's football, basketball, anything. I don't even care if it's one of the top leagues. We're still talking about all-stars from every state, every country for the last 15 years. There is no let up. You gotta be ready for that. Man, what makes you think I'm not ready? Just asking me that question tells me you're not ready. Because I'm not afraid enough? That's better as a start. That's right, because outperforming just your teammates, that's not gonna cut it no more, right? What happens when you feel overwhelmed? Because that's gonna happen. What happens when you feel like it's just not clicking? What do we do then? Work when you're on the clock, ain't work. Thank you, okay, so you do listen sometimes. All right, not wasting my time. Look, son. Good to see you, dude. Respect. Thanks, young man. Look, your ceiling is sky high. I believe in you with everything I got, but you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta believe in your talents. You gotta show commitment if you wanna cash in on this. I am committed. All right, I believe that. I believe that. I also know there's always more for us to do. Always. Let's go. Welcome, everybody, to College Basketball presented by 2K Sports. This should be a fun one. Tonight, we'll see the Syracuse Orange as they play against the Florida Gators. I'm Forrest Hunt, along with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and we are just a bit resolve here. And stolen by Junior. Oh my goodness, what a slam from Junior. Where did that come from? I did not expect to see that tonight. That was a dunk contest level throw down there. He pulled that out of nowhere. That's going to be on highlight reels for years. Junior, why'd you dunk the ball like that? I saw an opportunity to make a big play. <laughs> hey, why'd you dunk the ball like that? Felt like the right time to energize the team. All right, you're going to have to make a decision about what type of player you're going to be, how you're going to represent yourself and this school. Would your dad have made that play? Listen, coach, if I stepped out of the line and you don't want me to do it again, fine. I can make the adjustment. All right, Junior, I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> All right, now I'm at my school. I'm bleeding our colors, but I lived on the bench. One particular game, everybody was in foul trouble, so I get tossed in. Now I'm thinking, good, it's my moment. I'm going to give him the razzle-dazzle, behind-the-back pass, crossover, step back, I threw the kitchen sink at it. You showed out. Absolutely. I wanted to show that I belonged in the rotation and off the bench. We ended up winning by two. So I'm thinking, I'm on cloud nine. Life's complete. Why do I get the feeling that this story does not have a happy ending? Well, coach pulls me aside, and he tells me I'm back on the bench. He says we should have won by 10, but I made the game about myself, my ego. Every time I, went, I wanted to do something special or fancy, we dropped possessions. I, I was mad. He was wrong. But then I saw the tape. Hmm. You know what happens next, or you're just tired of listening to me talk? I'm not because I'm listening, Coach. Look, Junior, win or lose, play the game the right way. Now, if you think that dunk was the right play, that's fine, but you're gonna have to live with that, and there may be some unintended consequences. You got me? Got you, Coach. All right. <sighs> Smiling, huh? Man, hey, don't, <laughs> don't worry about that. Oh, she oh, got you oh, smiling. Man. Look you at go. you, boy. Hey, thank you for bringing me here. This place is amazing. 
I come here every Monday when Madison's playing. It's so easy to get one dimensional with like everything that we do, like mm -hmm. training and film sessions and travel. And I just, I just want to see so much that's out of that bubble, you know? Like yeah. I have to. Yeah. Well, I haven't found that thing yet. No? Why not? I... That is a great question, especially because it's so direct. <laughs> well, that's what college is for, right? Yeah. Figuring out who you are and you're exposed to so much just if you're open to it. Like all of this, this makes me so good at soccer in the long run. Like at least I like to think it does. And you play for the Canadian national team too? I'm, I'm an alternate right now, but yeah, every time I get in line and they sing, Oh, Canada, <laughs> I get chills. Like, I just, I can't wait. I, school lets me take assignments on the road as a wait, special wait, arrangement. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If my memory serves me correct, you said basketball players get the treatment. Yeah. That's what you okay. said, right? Yes. Basketball Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, I did, checking. okay. But you know what I'm saying, <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, I do. I mean, everywhere I go, people are asking me about the games, win or lose. Especially lose. Yeah. The expectations are high, but yeah, I get it. I mean, the fans, they take everything so personal. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hard to filter out all that noise. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I struggle with it sometimes. Being good at this. It's a responsibility, yeah. yeah. it's just all going by so fast. And I, um, I just want to appreciate this moment. So thank you very much. Thank you, too. You know Alex Williams. Airball Alex Williams? Mm. You don't know her show, bro? What? Should I? Yes! She's one of the top national college basketball influencers and she's blowing up for the Dope Blunt podcast and video channels. You gotta take it seriously. Because them NBA draft heads definitely do. All right, I'll check out. No, no, no. You gonna do it now because she's all over you. Right here, she singled you out and issued a challenge. Throw down. And she even hit me on my socials to make sure you got it. Let me see that. Okay, so I meet this challenge and then what? I'm sure she'll hype you on the show. Okay, and if I don't? She'll bury you. I seen it happen before, stone cold ruthless. All right, fine. She wants to go, we can go. Mm. I ain't never been afraid of no challenge. Welcome everybody, and thanks for joining us tonight for our presentation of College Basketball. Moments away, it'll be the Florida Gators going up against the Villanova Wildcats. Along with analysts Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, I'm for... Yes, this is a good thing. We got the W, you did your thing. Alex Williams is going to be hyping you up for shot. I'm just glad we got the win. It's one step closer to the tournament. And Alex Williams, both can be true, Junior. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm about the team. That's my mentality, always has been, always will be. Alex Williams... Or no apps. Yeah, and I hear that. But look, at this level and the next level, the media is going to overanalyze every move we make on and off the court. And it's affecting the team because they're hearing it and they're reading it. Mm -hmm. If Alex Williams is burying you, then we all get it. But look, your draft stock go rise. You'll see. I ain't mad at that. As long as we keep winning, everything else will take care of itself. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> hey, you want to find this? Save the ocean. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to catch up with y'all later. Okay, see ya. What's up, Junior? Good to see you. You too, Arch. <laughs> Man, I got to walk. So, look, I'll, I'll get right to the point. I know what happened between Coach Bishop and I is still eating at you. Yeah, it didn't sit right. Look, I want everything to work out between us, but Coach Bishop don't trust you, and he just wants what's best for me. Hey, hey, hey. So do I. 
You still want to get paid if I make it to the NBA, which is fair. You know, I got you here. You did? When you had your choice of schools, I never tried to nudge you either way. That's right. I was surviving before we met, Junior, and I'd still be surviving if you decided to never play basketball. Look, Art, you got me here. And I love this place and what I'm trying to accomplish for this school, but things can change if I don't feel like they're working out. I just want that to be clear. Hey, we don't have a contract. That's clear. All I can do is keep trying to earn your trust. Okay. So, you ready to see what the inside word on your draft stock is? <laughs> Definitely. All right, so look, uh, I gathered all my intel into one place for you to take a look at, but it can update as the season goes. Okay, so what's this all supposed to mean right now? Uh, nothing yet, but it'll all shape up as we get closer to the end of the season. Just keep winning, keep your numbers up, and your stock will rise. Okay, and if we're losing and I'm not producing, then it'll fall. I mean, uh, I was going to say it's not that simple, but it kind of is. <laughs> all right. Work to do. What's up? Catch you later, Arch. All right, boy. All right, me. Thank you. Can I help you? You're junior, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm Alex Williams. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um. How'd you get on the bus? How did I get on the bus? Yeah. You'd be surprised by how many people think Press pass means all access. Uh, Can I say what a pleasure it is to meet Mr. Big Time Professor Dunk himself? I'm just wondering whether I should call you a selfish player, a chemistry risk, or, you know, tell the truth and let everyone know you did it for a girl. Who told you that? I never reveal my sources. But his name rhymes with Ted. Listen, um, these other players are... Yeah. So what's the deal with it? What's the deal? Well, I get it. It may seem cruel or, you know, arbitrary, but it's the opposite. I, I love the potential of who you are and what your game is all about. At times, it can be inspiring. Okay, and at other times? At other times, not so much, but you're growing and developing, and this is my way of helping you reach your potential. <laughs> so why can't you just say that in an article? What's with all these games? Because I'm building a profile, too. And games, conflict, that gets eyeballs and clicks. And what if you don't develop? I write a cuddly piece about you, and then what? NBA decision makers pay attention to what I say. I've built a career on honest, unmerciful critiques, and I'm not backing down from that now. Look, the stakes are impossible at this level, Junior. You know that. And even worse when you get to the next level. You might as well prepare for it now. Everyone knew your dad was up for it. It's a long shadow that follows you around. <laughs> is that funny? It is, because it's an angle. My, trust me, I get where you're coming from. But the media is a lot more twisted about the legacy of Duke than I am. Am I supposed to take that at face value? I'm assuming you got another challenge for me. <laughs> yeah, I do. Two games, first and foremost. I'm all about winners, so win the games. Secondly, everyone wants to see you develop as a scorer. So bump your scoring average up from where it is now. What do you say? Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Nice. There's something about you. Professor Dunk. Mr. Big Time. 
red. Welcome everyone to our presentation of college basketball brought to you by 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Florida Gators against the Yukon Huskies. Joined at the table by Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, I'm Forrest Hunt. Rolling in and wet, I might just make this girl a mommy. You just got hit with the long stick. Mama come over, she popped it. Four for no Mac, now she cock it. Bitches apply for my cock. I remember I was just transit. I remember I was just a band getter. I remember I was the band nigga. I just brought the band together. Go so ham, you a bad guitar. Just take a man, you'll be similar. I like your style, you a different girl. I might buy now this chick this world. Thanks for joining us as we get set for what should be an exciting night of college basketball. And tonight we've got the Florida Gators playing against the Oklahoma Sooners. Joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, I'm Forrest Hunt, and I think this is good. Yeah, Coach, the rest congrats. Of the That's the effort you got to give, Brad. Couple yeah. questions. Talk to the players. Talk to the players. Okay. Junior, got a minute? Yeah. Yeah, Same let's do it. I mean, it's not like you really have a choice. Junior, congrats. The team's had a nice stretch of games. How do you feel? Oh, for sure. It feels good to, to win. We've all committed to putting in the extra work and allow us to play free and confident as a group. Now, that said, your numbers have diminished personally. Is there frustration there? And if so, how do you overcome it? All I care about is winning. My personal numbers will always take a backseat to that. There's a school of thought in this game that your best player has to be your best player every night in order to be a great team. Is this a great team, and are you its best player? All I can say is that it's a work in progress. Okay, well, that said, if you want to be the top player in the country, which I assume you do, isn't consistency key? It is, and I'll get there. But like I said, we got the win, and that's all that matters, Alex. All right, well, congrats. Thanks for your time, Junior. Likewise. You are really enjoying this, aren't you? I'm a professional, Junior. When you start playing at your potential, I'll report that just as clearly. I promise. Getting ghosted. <laughs> Yo, I'm not getting ghosted. She's on the road. Then you on the road too. All right, how many days since she texted you last? Yeah, exactly. Delete her number and free your mind. We got a big game coming up and you don't need this eating you up. I'm gonna be fine by game time. <laughs> See? <laughs> it ain't her. <laughs> nope, it ain't. Hey man, you letting the noise in. It'll bury you. Yeah, I feel like the media is out to get me that. Alex Williams? She's doing her job. Nah, it feels personal. But hey, even if it is, if you were to ask her or any other reporter to stop, you think they would? Nope. Exactly. All right, that's what you gotta understand. It's relentless. Every single game, the fans, the media, the scouts, all you can do is play through it. Leave it all out there. How'd I hear you, coach? Uh, hey, hey, hold on. Hear me out. You gotta get out of your head. 
time to step up. This team needs a leader right now. Let's go, Junior. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another exciting night of college basketball presented by 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the West Virginia Mountaineers going up against the Florida Gators. Here with... All right, gentlemen, that's a good job. That's a complete team win. We have no easy wins in this conference. We know that. But we are right where we want to be, and we are playing our brand of basketball, which is what, Red? Uh, togetherness. You ask him to tell him. Uh, I'm telling you, Coach. Red, every team is about togetherness. He's talking about the details, Red, the small things. He literally says it every practice. You do? Oh, boy. Looks like somebody's going to lose some playing time next game. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> You joking, right? Hey, Junior, listen, I asked you to step up and be a leader. And that's exactly what you did. Your dad would be proud, man. Thanks, Coach. Enjoy it. Coach is hilarious, right? I don't think he was joking, man. No matter what I do, Coach, Alex Williams, the fans, they're on me. Good or bad, it's time to get to me. So don't let him. Yeah, it's not that easy. You're the star of one of the best basketball teams in the country. It's not supposed to be easy. Mm -hmm. Is that supposed to make me feel better? It's not my job to make you feel better. Just wish you were around more. Is it just me, or are we talking past each other? Why were you ghosting me? What? I wasn't ghosting you. I was busy playing soccer around the world. Okay, and what happens if this gets bigger and I make it to the league? Well, then I will uh, sit courtside at every game, and when you're on the road, I'll lay in bed and wonder if you're okay or how I can make you feel better. Yeah, I wouldn't even want that. Are you sure? I want you exactly as you are. But at your beck and call. You want someone to rub your back and tell you it's all going to be okay, Junior. Maybe Hendrix Cobb will always be better than you. Maybe you won't win a championship. It's not the end of the world. This isn't helping. Or get drafted. I don't know. It's, this it's is not, not helping. Well, it's up to you to define the outcome. No one else. Get it. I think I need to leave. Yeah, you should. You know what? Fine. You're right. It is up to me, and I'm leaving. I'm done with the school. I'm declaring right now. Look, I know it's an emotional decision, but I can't be here anymore. So thanks for everything. Mine's made up. There's no way I can get you to change your mind, can I? Wish you best of luck. Thanks, coach. <sighs> Why don't you get drafted? So that's funny to you? You notice how all your questions about the result never the work? It was a simple question. What do you think I didn't get drafted? I mean, for real. You tell me. I know you had two knee surgeries in college. Nah, it's excuses. You stayed all four years? I wanted to get my degree. Try again. You were captain of your team, conference player of the year, all, all team nice defense. All nice awards. Things I've earned, things I'm actually proud of. But the NBA scouts agenda? I don't care about all that. I mean, sure, you got leadership, character, defensive motor, all that helps. That's real. Think about those other things. Well, what position do I play? You're point guard. Yeah, and with my size, my body frame, can I play anything else? And what about my leaping ability? You can dunk. Can I dunk like those good dunkers? The good dunkers you even see at the street games? And is it explosive? 
a word they love to use. Okay, so you had some of it, but not all of it. I mean, from my perspective, no, but from their perspective, yeah. And when a GM goes on record and says, you're his guy, and he says that to his team, his whole career and yours are inextricably linked. Okay, if I become a star, so do they. If I wash out, same. So they've all agreed on this checklist, this protocol, right? If Duke doesn't check all the boxes, then some other guy does. So they draft the other guy. They draft the other guy. So at least they can say he checked all the boxes. Yeah. The fault goes back on the players, not them. Okay, that's why you gotta understand this mentality, son. You gotta make sure you check all the boxes for them. Okay, this draft cycle business, this is a chess match. Okay, if you're not ready for that, you are bound to fail. That's the setup. Whew, now most people on the outside won't see it. But this, my friend, is where the draft begins. I had a chance to bring oh, it up. Man, it's all good. I already know. Well, you do? Yeah. Harper and her team run a top sports agency for a reason. They contacted me as soon as they contacted you. Yeah, you're not upset? Why would I be? Someone take the meeting. I want you to. Root out the specifics. Look, just because you sign with them doesn't mean we're a done deal. We can all work together. Okay. I'm in theater of plan first. Hers of mine. I'm the associate agent, so when you sign with the agency, I'll be here to support Harper on the day-to-day. -day. I'm sorry, I completely spaced on your name You're walking in. <laughs> it's fair, you have a lot going on. It's Layla. Layla. Layla, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Have a seat. Yeah, yeah. Junior, hello. So excited to have you here. <laughs> I'm Harper Dell. Thank you so much for coming down to hear our pitch. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, and thank you for taking the time out to meet me. Absolutely. This is the moment. You have worked your entire life to get here, and we are here to support you in that journey to the next step where you start getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to tell you, we have the deepest roster of NBA talent in the world and brand partnerships with every company you can name. Our goal is long-term. <laughs> we wanna create lifelong relationships that keep you living large now and comfortable in your retirement. In these notes, already rests the shoe contract of your dreams. <laughs> you ever thought about acting? No, I, <laughs> I never really considered it, but I'm, you know, I'm into it if it makes sense, yeah. Multiple commercial offers and scripts for interesting indies that will help groom you for bigger projects once you get your feet wet. Um, all of that sounds really good to me. Yeah, but right now I just want to focus on the draft, solidify my position and, you know, find the team where my skills fit best. Well, we have relationships with all the teams. We can gather intel to get you the private team workouts that you but want. maybe not the exact team I want to play for? Anything is possible. But it is still a draft where teams can and will do what they see fit for their organization. Okay, so that's a no. <laughs> Chaos exists. We try and mitigate that for you, but it does exist. And I'm not going to lie to you just to get you to sign. I want us to start off in a place where we can be honest with each other. You know what? This is feeling way too formal. Way too formal. Hang on. <sighs> That's better. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up in the Salinas Valley. It's about two hours south of San Francisco. John Steinbeck was from there. Do you know it? Uh, 
no, not that area <laughs> <That's> specifically, <okay. laughs> no. <laughs> my parents died when I was young, so my grandmother raised us on her ranch. We grew broccoli, lettuce, cauliflower. It was not glamorous, but we worked and survived. And Layla? Oh, I was uh, raised right down the road from you and Union. Oh, Jersey represent. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah. Um, my dad bailed on us when I was three, and my mom did everything in her power to make it work. We know what it's like to want more. We willed ourselves to be where we are, just like you did. There's a vision for you here, Jordan, LeBron, a bigger corporate vision. Companies love them because their messaging connects to the public across all demographics. And that's how we want to position your endorsements going forward. Universal appeal. Okay. But it... It feels like there's a catch coming. No, there's no catch. There's a little reality. Archie. He's a good guy, and we know that he brought you here, which is why we want to provide him with a generous finder's fee as a parachute. But for us, we need you free and clear of all old attachments. Your future depends on an uncluttered vision. All new NBA players have to go through these difficult transitions. So it's you guys or him? From our perspective, it's just the way it has to be. You should hear what he has to say. Maybe he really is the right fit for you and for your vision. But for us, it's one or the other. I don't like it. Not one bit. I'm fine. I'm not afraid of a little competition. But her pitch on the corporate take is a flat idea. You have personality and you have an opinion. Your boy Hendrix Cobb, Harden, Embiid, they're doing just fine being who they are. That's how we seal your endorsements. Big and bold. But doesn't that idea risk losing endorsements if I'm seen as controversial? Yes. Yes, it will. But you'll gain others. Others that share your vision and your story. Former football player. Newark. Your dad. You're the underdog. That stuff is powerful, so right, use so you it. you got contract available for me now? No, I don't. But I will. It's called trust, Junior. And she says she got a movie deal available for deals? me now. Deals? Or ideas where deals may be? I don't know. It seems to me like you should. These big agencies, man, they, they pack a punch nowadays. And she may have a little bit more firepower than me right now. But I know who you are. I know where you come from. And I know what you want. As if it were my own story. But fine, if you want to walk away from all of that, so be it. It's either her or me. You choose. Listen, uh, things haven't always been smooth between us, but I know you, <laughs> good and bad. Yeah, I, I could dig it. Man, the fact that you're from here means something. I know I'm making the right choice. Thank you, Junior. I won't let you down. I know you won't, man. <laughs> <laughs> man I yeah. Yes, sir. So you're projected mid to late first. That's an interesting spot to be in, Junior. I mean, on one hand, you could slide right out the draft. 
the other you could step up, snatch a spot in the lottery. Wait, hold on. Players are falling out of the draft from the spot I'm in? I mean, it's all projections until the media hits you and the combine game starts firing. <laughs> I mean, the next step in this process for any player is the personality evaluation test. So they put you in a room with an interviewer who asks you a bunch of probing questions about yourself. <laughs> all right, so I'll just be honest and let them know who I am. Yeah, but you also want to be aware of what they want to hear. Integrity, character, leadership. You keep that in the back of your mind when you're answering questions, you do just fine. Junior, welcome. Nice to meet you. Nice Go to meet you, too. Seat. Thank you. This isn't a test. This isn't an interrogation. We're here to have a discussion, point of which is to get to know you better as a person. There are no right or wrong answers. All we want is for you to be as open and honest as possible. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, let's get started. What would one of your family members tell us about you? I think they tell you I lead by example. How so? Well, I'm always the first one in the gym and the last one out. That's how my dad taught me to be. Look, I don't have to get in your face to lead. I'll show you with effort. And it rubs off on the right people. They see what it takes to get where I'm at. Great. Let's move on. I'm curious. How do you deal with teammates you don't like? That doesn't really happen a lot, to be honest with you. Yeah. But if it does, I just try to work out whatever differences I might have with that teammate immediately. I don't like to let things build up, you know? What if you can't work out your differences? I, then I keep trying. Now, I don't really like to think there's a situation where I couldn't see eye to eye with the teammate if I tried to understand where they're coming from. Everybody wants to win, ultimately. Are you the best player in this draft class? Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. No doubt at all? <sighs> Look, it might sound arrogant, but yeah. I play to be the best. That's what drives me. So man, I keep track of all these guys and what they're doing throughout the season. And honestly, there's nobody in this class that can do what I do. And that's just me keeping it real. One last question and then I'll let you go, Junior. I'm wondering, what's your primary motivation for joining the league? Hooping. It's all I care about. Can you expand on that a little? Sure. I mean, money's cool, money's nice. I won't turn it down. But, uh, yeah, all of that, all that extra stuff is just icing on the cake. All right. That'll wrap it up. Wait, that's it? That's it. Thank you very much for your time, Junior. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks. It was nice to meet you. Nice talking with you. Best of luck in the draft. Thank you. That's not a good or a bad thing. Teams check out the data. Someone like you more, someone like you less. To some, it won't matter. The deal is fluid. Mm. I I'll take two of those. Yeah, but the results can change where I currently sit in the draft. I'm not hungry. You don't have to. You could stay exactly where you are right now. So I just got to sit here and wait? I'm not here. There are a few days left before the next steps are taken. I figure you might enjoy your bet a little bit more. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm glad you think this is so funny, man. This is a marathon, son. Breathe. Or you should burn yourself out before we even get started. Okay?
first rounder. So GMs and scouts are going to be looking to punch holes in who Junior is, mm. or they're going to be finding ways to like you more. Okay, so it's not all just downside here. I can move up too? Oh, for sure. You help an old lady across the street and that goes viral, you move up. I mean, it all matters right now. All right, so what's the strategy here? Joy. Be excited for the opportunity. That works more than anything. It feels like a chore, they'll pounce on you. Okay. Well, also, certain teams like certain personalities too, right? Like what plays in Miami, you won't necessarily play in Minnesota or New York, and vice versa. Exactly. But look, your head will spin out of control if you try to navigate on that level of nuance right now. Just, just go big. Give me the side of your personality that we could sell. The big endorsements are out there, but you have to position yourself. Find your niche. Hey, hey, hey. Junior. Hey, Junior. Junior, Junior. Hey, everybody. Junior. Thanks Come for coming. Junior. I'm excited to be here. Uh, Alex, you got the first one. Can you talk about your experience being here at the Combine so far? Yeah, you know what? Uh, this whole thing, <laughs> this entire thing has been a dream come true. You fantasize about getting to the league as a kid, and I'm just grateful to be here competing against other players. Junior, any critiques about your game that you don't necessarily agree with? Nothing specifically, but we as players always have something we're working on. Even LeBron, <laughs> he's still working on nuance, how to modify pieces of his game. It's never ending, and that's part of the reason why I love this game so much. It's something that you just got to keep at. Obviously, this is an opportunity to make an impression and raise your stock. Tell us about your goals. But in the end, I'm just here to compete to get drafted. Yeah, it's going to take effort in every single game, in every single drill, and all I can do is just give 100%. Junior, Junior. how do you Sorry. feel stuck up against <laughs> the other high-end uh, uh, All right. I'm sorry, guys. I got to run a practice. Thank you for your time. Alex, I'll see you soon. All right. Thanks, Junior. You guys have a good one. All right, and we are here with the... Okay, so now we're at the heart of the matter. Drills and scrimmage. This is where the combine gets a little nasty. All right, fine. See, this is what I've been waiting for. No more talk. Just get to play. Great. Because I spoke to a friend of mine, and he's agreed to walk you in. Damian Lillard. Wait. You're friends with Dame Lillard? That's so hard to believe? I mean, that maybe, but... I mean, come on, Arch friends, it seems like a stretch. <laughs> All right, somewhere in the middle, okay? <laughs> His manager owes me a favor. Anyway, Damon's gonna be at the workout, you know, for tips and give you some guidance. Man, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, I'm a big fan of his, man. Thanks. No, don't thank me. Just do what you gotta do, and remember to use him as a resource because that's what he's there for. Oh, and uh, save the selfies till you get into the league <laughs> next year. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Yo, damn. Junior, what's going on, man? Not much, man. I appreciate you meeting up with me, man. It's all good. Yeah, so how do I improve my stock in here, man? Because I'm, I'm nervous, man. You just got to go in here, test well. So hopefully you've been preparing for all these tests, the vertical, the bench press, making open jumpers, three-quarter course sprint, working on your one-on-one -on -one game, because you're probably going to run into that in here. So that's, that's going to mean something. Second, you got to be able to show your work ethic. When you're going through these drills, you got to be working harder than everybody else. You got to be in better shape than everybody else because that's going to stand out because a lot of people don't prepare like they need to for this. The third thing is just your demeanor, how you carry yourself, your confidence, um, showing up. A lot of people show up to this stuff and they depend on their reputation from high school and college and they feel like they don't got to go through drills and they don't got to bring it. So 
If you show up and you do all of these things, I guarantee you, you're gonna rise up the boards just like I did. Okay, man, okay. Yo, you just dropped the whole world of knowledge on me, man, but I appreciate it. Hey, man, it's it's simple. Do do what the other players won't do, and it'll happen. All right, respect, man. I appreciate you coming. Sure. Yo, dang. Yo, man, I just did my thing in there. You did your thing, bro. Yeah, I left it all on the court. That's how you got to do it. Anytime you get in that position, you got to leave it all out there. All right. Yes, you did. All right, so now it's draft night. What's next? Hey, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty. You're going to be curious where you're going, what team you're going to play for, who you're going to be playing with, East Coast, West Coast. There's going to be a lot of things up in the air, but at least you know that you're going to be an NBA player. But it's a great feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. So how'd you feel when you went on the stage with the commissioner? I was, man, it was a great feeling. You go up there, shake his hand, take the picture. You get your hat. Yeah. Representing your team yeah. for the first time. Man, I'm it's nervous. Crazy. I'm excited, though. It's that excited nerve feeling going yeah, on right it's now, one of man. Those I'm weird feelings, but I'm excited yeah. for you, man. Congratulations, because I, I know it's going to happen for you, man. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. For sure. I hope these workouts are not done, though, because I'm ready to, you know, <laughs> oh, now, you, now you, you know everything. All right. When you talk about Junior, all you can say is surefire lottery pick. Right there in black and white, baby. <laughs> I can't, man. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just enjoy it and get some rest. <laughs> oh. And don't touch anything sharp. Don't ride anything fast. And whatever you do, don't jump off of anything high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I couldn't have done it without your partner. We're almost there, bro. Come on. Yo, man, I'm wired, bro. Yo, me too, me too. I mean, I know it's good like to go to bed early and all that, but I'm bouncing off the walls right now. Yo, I'm bugging too. It's like, this is all too crazy, man. Like, this is my life, you know what I mean? I do. I mean, the NBA is right there. It's amazing, but it's tomorrow. Yeah. Yo. What? Let's go out. Aw, oh, man. We can't go out party. We get caught and it goes viral, man. We're going to be done. <laughs> I'm not talking about partying, man. Where are you trying to go then? Oh my God. I don't know, man. Maybe that wouldn't be a good idea. Nah, it's fine. Take pics with fans, watch some street ball. It's innocent. And it's something old school about it. The media will eat this up. No risk. Junior and Henry. Bro, what's up, bro? Oh, oh snap. What's <laughs> good, man? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? doing? How doing? What's up doing here, man? Yeah, man. Yeah, what's up, man? Let me guess, y'all here for draft night, huh? Yeah, yeah, man. That's yeah. a big night. Yeah. Right? You feel yeah. excited? Yeah. OK. You know what? What do you th I got an idea. How about we get warmed up? Let's uh, let's go twos. What you think, man? Oh, let's go some twos, Dude, you know? Let's have some fun. I mean, unless unless y'all scared of my boy. Ah, oh, man. I would be scared. Come on. <laughs> you got jokes. You got jokes. Oh, well, I'm man. down. I ain't never scared. Hey, what, uh, you think? what you think, Junior? Come on, man. Friendly competition. Hold on one second. Let me holler at you. Oh, one second. What's up, man? All right, let's think this through, man. All these fans, all these cameras, this can go really bad for me, man. Okay, okay. Pros and cons, right? All right. Right? Yeah. Cons. He beats us, that goes viral. We look like trash, and our draft stock washes right up the Hudson River. Yeah, that's bad, man. All of that sounds really bad. Pros, we take them down, that goes viral. We become legends, our draft stock goes through the roof. But you already the top prospect, man. I'm just saying, we, because we're teammates here. And it feels right. But, but, you are correct. I have no downside here. So listen, Junior, things can go bad real quick. I mean, that is Zion. Yeah. 
So that's why I'll let you make the choice. If you win, I'm in. If you're not, you sit back and watch the Zion show. All right. All right, all right. So we talked about it. So you guys ready to take me on or not? I'm gonna miss the chance to get at you in front of all these people. I see you, Junior. You want some of this smoke? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, do we? Do we? Yeah, Let's do we. go. All right. I don't lose, man, at all. <laughs> hey, we ready then. We're about to take out these top prospects, uh -huh. brother. Over with. Let's go. We get ball. Yo, check it out. We already trending on social. <laughs> I looked up in that video too, man. Got your boys good side. <laughs> this is definitely gonna help our draft stock. Oh bro. yeah, that's what's up, man. You guys, hey fellas, good game, all right? I appreciate that, good man. Good game, game, man. Might work. I don't yeah. know how y'all won, but y'all some real hoopers, <laughs> yeah. man. Appreciate I mean, you. we definitely gonna beat you next time for sure. Yeah. I wish y'all the best of luck tomorrow. It's the biggest night of y'all life. That's right. Have fun and enjoy the moment. Yeah. I'll see y'all in the league. Yeah, yeah, you will. We'll see y'all soon. Yes, sir. Don't be salty. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. Hey, what's up, Arch? That's how you feel. Ah, uh, yeah, man, I'm good, I'm good. Look a little tense. Yep. Definitely tense. <laughs> Take a look around. So is everyone else. You're in good company. Mm. Supposed to help me, man? Yeah. Helpful stuff would be to say, uh, imagine everyone in their underwear or in a clown's nose, like in one of those public speaking classes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so is that helpful? I never found it to be. <laughs> Crazy, man. Yeah, it's supposed to be here, not me. Well, you might as well know this now. Your dad was a good player and a great teammate, influenced a lot of people. But he wasn't half the player you are. And if he were here, he'd feel the same way. I think he would have said he was proud of me. I mean, I mean, we both know those words would have never left his lips, right? <laughs> like, never. Gosh, never. <laughs> but he would have been thinking it. Tonight marks the realization of a dream for the best young players in the world. A reward for their many... <laughs> With the first pick in the NBA draft, the Miami Heat select Hendricks Cobb from Gonzaga. <laughs> yes! Congratulations, boy. Get him. With the second pick in the NBA draft, the Miami Heat select Junior from the University of Florida. <laughs> yeah, Arch. <laughs> Thanks, That's man. Delicious, Junior. Thanks, man. Earth this boy. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you very Woo. much. My <laughs> oh, man. Congratulations. Yeah.
Wow. You know how many people live on this planet? 7.8 billion. You know how many in the NBA? Not that many. <sighs> like, I just got to thank you, coach. I wouldn't even be here if you hadn't talked me into it way back when. Ordinarily, I'd say you did all the work. But in this case, yeah, I'll take the credit. <laughs> I guess I walked into that one. Hey, let's cheer some coffee or whatever is around here. Let's do it. Yes. To Junior, Newark's finest. You made it. I'm really, really proud of you. Bravo. This life is a long story, son. Just make sure you remember who you are, yeah? This place. Sure, Dad. I will. I know. <sighs> <sighs> 